Hey, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and welcome back to more Bloodborne walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough. With the skill build. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, last time we took down the old healing church and um, the old workshop. Or old healing church workshop and the old workshop. And today we're going to be taking on the second half of the central Yarnum area. This is going to be the lower half. And um, due to requests by uh, Ryan and Pride to keep the doll set, <laughs> uh, I will do that. I don't know for how long though, but I will keep it for now. It's, you know, at first I, I was just, you know, I wore this as kind of like a joke. Kind of troll you guys a little bit. Uh, yeah, I would have thought many people would want me to go back to the hunter set, but... Apparently this kind of backfired. I wasn't expecting anyone to tell me to keep this set. <laughs> yeah, but I'll keep it for now. And uh, yeah, that probably shouldn't have made that stupid dumb joke huh? about keeping the set. Ah, oh, God. Anaya <laughs> curses. Anaya to remember. What you say, friend? <laughs> Is this a face of a man who cares what you said, woman? <laughs> I didn't think my character looked this bored. Anyways, as you can see, the people are going a bit crazy here. Alright, uh, first enemy encounters in this area. There is going to be three enemies here. Two guys and one dog. One guy with a pitchfork, one guy with a torch and axe, and one dog. Oh my god. Yeah, I want to watch out for the pitchfork guys because they're real assholes. Uh, you want to wait around this area because you don't want to rush over. There's really dangerous. There's a very dangerous enemy up ahead. That's why you don't want to rush over up front. You want to wait for him to come to you. Take down the, go the dog first. Watch out for the guy with the axe. I mean, the guy with the pitchfork. The pitchfork guy is always an asshole. And after taking him down, head back here. There's a pickle right there. Be careful, because it's a trap. There's two crows here. Go around, flank them. And then we can grab this pickle. It's actually a set. I mean, it looks okay, I guess. Because you'll look like those um, the villagers. Ew, sweaty clothes. <laughs> yeah. And up the stairs, there's a dog. Let's trigger that guy. He's alone, so... Oh my god, it's an aggressive one, though. Pop off a heel. If you walk up these stairs, you'll find these two assholes right here. Watch out for the pitchfork guy. That thing has a really long reach. Long range. I mean, reach. Long reach. Long range attack. <laughs> long reach. Long range. Whatever. I'm getting confused by all this long range, long reach thing. So yeah, um, sometimes they'll be um, all the way in the front, but sometimes they'll be around this area. So when you come out, you're going to have to be careful with these two. If you don't want to explore this area, that's fine. Um, you guys can just move on with the level by taking this elevator all the way up. This is going to take you back to the um, Cathedral Ward area. Uh, the Upper Cathedral Ward area. So yeah, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explore this area. Because that's what we do. We explore and we get killed. Here's a very dangerous enemy I was talking about. It's, um, not sure what they're called. This is Reap, Grim Reaper looking guy here. You can go in for a backstab. Rizzle attack. And then go in for a backstab again. I don't know. You're really slow at turning around and stuff. Twin Bloodstone Shards. Bloodstone shot, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a random drop. Sometimes he'll give you twin bloodstone shots. Sometimes he'll just give you bloodstone shots. But this time, he only gave he only gave me a bloodstone shot. So I'm gonna kick his head around a little bit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, do be careful though, because um, if you get killed by this guy, it's gonna take you to a whole new area. Okay. Uh, we'll explore that area later, but I don't want to do that right now. So. Yeah, if he does turn around, 
you know how he hangs out right here um sometimes when you try to creep up on him he'll turn around if he does you can either choose to take him on by taking him down with parries or if you guys are not that good with parries you guys can bait him all the way back here okay uh he'll chase you and then when you you can just bait him all the way here he'll get stuck by this doorway because he's too tall to fit and then you know you can just um use your secondary form get a couple of hits and then back off or you guys can also use the whip whip form of the chain i mean the the, the cane and then you guys can just kind of cheese them from here but yeah best way to take them down is just backstabs or parries backstabs are more efficient because if you screw up a parry this guy hit pretty hard <laughs> so yeah uh anyways that's that up next there is a really annoying enemy that i think this is gonna be the most annoying actually there is another one that frenzies you but this is number it's gonna be the most annoying or second most annoying enemy in the game is this octopus guys i mean if you have a thrusting weapon uh these guys are they're no problem they're a piece of cake if you can equip the rifle spear then you can take this guy down no problem uh if you can't slashing attacks doesn't really work that well because they have a high slashing resistance so if you're trying to like slash them to death it's gonna take a while uh your best bet to take these guys down is um throwing knives and parries okay if you don't have a thrusting weapons if you guys have the thrusting weapons and can use the thrusting weapons then you know take them down with the thrusting weapon but for us throwing knife with the win down he goes <laughs> takes four to take him down it'll take more and um like in, uh, ng plus and stuff like that but for now four throwing knives and he's been guarding this fire blood gemstone rank three uh we can't even equip this because none of our weapons we don't even have the gem slot for this thing yet and it adds fire web um fire attack to your weapon which it could be useful in some cases but if you're fighting a boss that's resistant against fire and uh that's not really gonna help uh where's the weapon yeah see we have the gym slot thing on the saw spear but it's at the third one and you need plus six to unlock that one and that's the only weapon that we have that has that slot anyways yeah anyways <laughs> That's that. Uh, did I miss anything back here? I don't think so. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to be going back up to the Cathedral Ward area. Uh, yeah, we're really close to a boss fight, but we're not going to take on the boss. We're, not, we're just going to explore the whole Cathedral Ward area that's, um, in this video. Grab up this cold blood here. I'm trying to see what's going on in this place. Okay, so a guy just walked up the stairs. I believe he's gonna flank us. Because there's two guys right here. I'm trying to see because last time a guy just popped out of nowhere for me. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take down this guy first. Come here. Nope. <laughs> you know, we're gonna come down here. Oh yeah, they do patrol down. Okay. Yeah, cause last time I I just kind of freaked out. I'm like, wait, what the hell? Cause I killed that guy and I went down there, and then out of nowhere these guys were there. I'm like, what? What in the world just happened? You know, it was really weird. Yeah. I never knew they patrolled, like, they patrolled around like this. Oh, shit. Give me my health back, you asshole. And the guy who patrols around. Actually, we're not going to take this route because, um. There's this guy with the Grim Reaper shit here.
He is right there. Gonna grab this pickup right here, the thick cold blood. And then we're gonna sneak up on this guy. Well, actually, his pal's right there. <laughs> Let me just take care of his buddy first. Come here, buddy. Take a swing. Oh, he, he took a swing. I missed the parry. Oh, god damn it. Okay, whatever. Oh, he gave us the, the silver bullets back. That's that's pretty nice of him. Uh, note that if you have more insights, you guys can actually see something different from those enemies. And actually, their attacks will be different too, so. Yeah, they're gonna get like this new magic attack. Hopefully it didn't drop anything. Too important. This is pretty sick of the blood. Grab this up, blood vials. Watch out for this guy, because he does have like the repeating pistol, I believe. And that should pack a punch. If you're trying to like duke it out with this guy with your pistol, this guy is pretty much gonna win. He he hits pretty hard with his pistol. So don't underestimate that guy. And I am gonna take on that big guy. Not really a fan of taking him on, but I'll do it. Just just for the sake of making this little, this part a little bit easier. Uh, they're they're a real bitch to fight. That's why I don't really like to fight. Numbing miss really useful for the boss in this area. Let's drop down here and grab another pick up here. It's a messenger skin thing. Black messenger hat. This is really weird because if you look at that little cart there, there's nobody standing there, right? But it's really weird because when we drop down, he appears. <laughs> it's like some paranormal activity crap. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this pickup here. And let's quickly take this route and take down the dog. Oh, that bitch. You whacked me. Actually, more like he bit me. And let's take on this bitch. Attack that right leg that's been bleeding. Um, yeah. He should be down pretty soon now. The moment we down him, we can do um, a visual attack on this guy. Shit, he did it down. Did it go down? Woo! Yeah, another thing about like fighting this guy in like tight areas. Very, very dangerous. Yeah, take a good swing. Oh my god. <laughs> it always makes me nervous when I fight these guys. They're slow, but then they hit pretty freaking hard. Get that ankle check. Oh, is he gonna die already? I'll just kill him with a pebble here. <laughs> I guess not, huh? Go down. Usually coughs up. Uh, oh, he gave up some butt shards. Um, normally he gives. Um, he'll give you. Uh, what you call it? Blood vials. This time he gave us some blood shards. Pretty nice, I guess. <laughs> we can use it to upgrade uh, the weapons that we get later on. Uh, still debating if I should use the katana at all in this in this walkthrough. Okay, so in this little cemetery area, there is these two big guys where we could sneak around them. Uh, there are a lot of pickups in this area. Uh, I believe. All of them are just madmen's knowledge. You know, if that's your thing, then you guys can go around picking them all up right now. But I am not gonna do that, because later on, after you defeat the boss in this area, 
Um, these guys are gonna be like on standby mode or something. They're just gonna be resting on the sides. And then you can go around picking up all the stuff you want. Uh, as long as you walk really quiet. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can wait to wait until that happens and then pick up everything. Or you guys can just, you know, pick it all up right now if you want. But you gotta have to be careful about these guys because if they spot you, they're gonna take a swing at you. Okay, that's all I'm gonna grab right now. That's all I'm gonna grab. <laughs> I'm gonna back off now. Watch out for this guy with the um, with the flamethrower. Very dangerous. Oh shit! Get down, asshole! Oh, he's, 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 he survived. Yeah, be really, really careful with these guys. Okay. Um, the flamethrowers. Uh, it's they're no joke. They'll freaking um, stun you and they'll chip away your health really really fast. I got killed like that before. It wasn't pretty. So yeah, do be careful about the flamethrower. Most of the time he'll just try to spam his flamethrower. He will sometimes try to hit you with his melee weapon though, so be careful about that. And this gate was previously locked in the first, first half of the Cathedral Ward. But now we can go around and we open the gate. Without having to waste 10k blood echoes to buy the freaking the chief's emblem and opening the tiny door over there. I mean, you, if you want to come here early, then you could do that. But you know, it didn't really matter. We're not really, we're not actually, we're not even missing out on anything by not doing that. So it's best to just save that 10k blood echo and um, use it a uh, level up or upgrade your weapon. Other than um, spending it on some stupid emblem, just so you can gain access to an area earlier. What'd you give up? Nothing, cheap bastard. And after we explore this area, we're pretty much done with the cathedral ward area. Yeah, this area could be fairly dangerous. We got some poison throwing knives there. Useful, really useful. Hmm, thick mist. It's almost like they're trying to hide some enemies there. Uh, anyways, <laughs> two NPCs you can interact with. Um, you can bring them back to a safe haven, or you can take them to Yosefka's. Whatever you want. So if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, Ooh. <laughs> Actually, this woman is a whore. You know. Well, it's not an insult, that's what she is. That's what she does. Okay? It's... I'm not trying to piss anyone off by saying that that's that's how she is okay that's literally what she is in this game oh thank goodness you're a hunter right right might you know of a safe place the night is long and a very little of the incense left please there must be some nice place to run off to yeah, actually, you can go to the Wooden Chapel. It's a pretty oh, safe place there. Thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. Definitely. <laughs> I gotta change my clothes before I get there. <laughs> Can't be wearing the doll set. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> alright, alright. Got some hookups here. Alright. Let's see what this window has to offer. You! You're not from around here, are you? No. Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What a pathetic idea. What? 
Do you what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I'll think you're a beast. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> and step away to my castle. Castle? Looks like an apartment. Oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Yeah. Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast sons. Damn. This guy has got issues. Maybe he's like, maybe he's related to the granny. I don't know. Are they related? They, they both seem pretty pissy. What's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Know why? Well, her sort's probably just fixed in to feed some of your coin. <laughs> damn, this guy's got some attitude right here. This guy's got one hell of attitude. Uh, Alright, what crafty lies does the outsider have today? You think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna send your ass to the crazy bitch back in the clinic, okay? How's that for a place? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that bollock. What? I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. I, I mean, lies are predictable. Wait, but it's a pretty safe place. Are you sure you don't want to go there? What? Still praying on folks with your book of lies? Yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you got. Tell me about your little safe place. <laughs> yes, um, this clinic is really safe. We should, we should go there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. Son of a bitch. Alright, suit yourself. Whatever. Whatever you want. Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hang around, huh? I wonder if these guys are hunters or are they just like civilians going mad? Another door we can interact right there. Watch out for that beast right there. If you lock on right now, you can kind of see him. Uh, there is a rifle, um, a spear, I mean, a sniper guy back there, so be careful with that guy. Get this parry off. Shit. Enough! What you got? Twin bullets don't- Oh, shit! I knew he was there, but I was trying to pick up that thing. Oh, man. These guys are more- Oh, these guys are more like faster today. They're more mobile than usual. Usually, they just hang back, you know, wait for you to go over there, and then they take a swing at you. But that, oh shit, did that guy shoot it? Okay, screw you. Uh, by the way, here we got the black church set. Uh, just to show you guys what it looks like here. Uh, not really my thing. I don't really think it looks cool. <laughs> it looks kind of weird. I look like one of them. <laughs> yeah, not really my thing. I'd rather stand out than um, look like one of those guys. Just stick with this for now. Think about changing that in the next episode. I don't know, this doll set is really messing with me. Everyone, this game is so freaky. Oh my god, this is some freaky shit right here. Let's see what this person has to say. <laughs> Praise you. Praise the old damn church. And then the best of luck I've seen. Best luck of all. <laughs> Wait, you don't want to know about the safe place? I'm not even from the church. I got a doll set on. Anyways, these people, you can't, they can't be reasoned with. Uh, sniper up there. 
Watch out for that guy. Let's just swing around here. There's another beast dude up here though, so be careful. They're all pissed now. Oh. Take these um, regular villagers down and watch out for this guy. They hit harder than you are, average enemy. Number one target right there. And after this guy's down, let's go ahead and take down this guy. Blood vial. Quicksilver bullets. What you got? Blood vial. Have I not gotten um Oh I got okay I got some. Okay, that's that's good. <laughs> But I need one more to start upgrading my weapon now. Another Octo guy right there. I really hate these guys. A real bitch to fight. But yeah, we'll fight them momentarily. I just want to see if I missed anything. I think I... Did I not miss a pickup? I thought there was a pickup down there. Unless I'm just tripping. Let me double check. Hmm. Yeah. When I was doing a practice, I thought there was a pickup here. I guess I just um killed the sniper and then he dropped something and I must Yeah, I, I must have thought that was um, one of the pickups that was just there. Okay. Alright, let's let's get a move on since there's nothing here. Uh, all we have to do is we're just gonna have to visit that Octo guy's area and um, talk to an NPC there. And we're done with the Cathedral War area. A watchman of Bergen with guards. The gate with the password. Huh. We'll get that password in a bit. Well, actually, we're not gonna get in this video. Or in the next video. We'll get it soon though. But yeah. We're gonna do some side quests and stuff. Uh, anyways. Big guy. Let's just make a beeline over here. Get your throwing knives ready. Put the wrong turn over there. Oh shit. Watch out for the octopus guy. He's like right around the corner right there. I don't know why this guy is like more weak to throwing knife than the other guy. I mean, aren't they supposed to be the same? Unless you're supposed to meet this guy earlier. Uh, no. Yeah, unless, I th I guess if you use the, the chief's emblem and then you access that door earlier on. And then you find this guy first. Because, um, yeah, the only other way to get over here is, um, you go through the, the lower area of the cathedral ward. So, I don't know. I guess we're too OP now. <laughs> and we got two more um, twin bloodstone shards. Real nice. Now we got um, four, I believe. Yeah, we can upgrade our weapon now. Shiny coin. Have we got any shiny coins before? I don't think so. Oh, wait, actually we did. Uh, I think I showed it off in the previous video. Yeah. Alright, anyways. Moving on here. Oh, that guy's not here. What a surprise. I guess we'll visit him later. Antidotes and... Uh... Ooh, a gate. The password. The password? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we don't got the password right now, so we can't enter. Oh shit, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, we don't got the password right now, so we can't go through that door. Um, if you guys want to get the password right away, you guys can go ahead and fight the boss in this area, and then you'll, you'll be able to get the password that way. Um... Yeah, but 
I'm not gonna fight the boss in this area just yet because you could go off and do an optional area. Where is that big guy? Let me just sneak around here. Yeah, we could do some side, side quests here um, and then come back and fight this boss. This is pretty sick. Did a backstab on the guy up there and then all this blood just spilled everywhere. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Yeah, if you guys want to take on the boss, head on up these stairs and then there is the gate right there. And then, yeah, you go through the gate, you fight the boss. But I am not going to take on the boss just yet. So, be careful with these guys, they hit pretty damn hard. They're slow though. Oh, what? You want some too? Come on then. Come on. Bring it. Oh shit! <laughs> that was a fast one. Okay, I didn't expect that. Oh my god. He's... He's ripping me a new one there. Oh shit. Get down on your knees, motherfucker. Mmm. For making me waste three blood echoes. Screw you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, if you want to take on the boss, it's right here. You open this gate and then you walk up the stairs. Take on the boss and then you guys can um, get the password and then you guys can proceed on with the main area. Um, this area, well, this route is going to take you to another area that we can't access. But there are going to be enemies there you can farm like twin bloodstone shards off of. But instead of going that way, we're going to make a left here. Because this is going to take us to a side area. Let's grab up all these items. And the item we just grabbed up. The bloodshot eyeball. This is going to be used in, um, in another ritual chalice thing. Uh, holy chalice ritual so you now you can make more chalice dungeons that way uh, when you complete like the first one and uh, this is gonna take us to a new area an optional area you don't have to come here but if you don't come here you're gonna be missing out and um, on a couple of places you're gonna miss out on the king Hurst castle and obviously you'll miss out on this place the dog looks different just got shot in the side of my head right there there's another dog right there in the distance oh not so fast not so fast okay that guy shot me that was pretty fast oh shit dodging bullets like matrix there's another dog take this bitch down first and then let's take on his cow here Silver bullets. There is a lot of freaking snipers in this area. It's pretty insane. Let's go ahead and mess with them anyways. There's another one right there and then there's like two right there. Okay, you rush for that guy, there's gonna be these two that are gonna be blasting freaking bullets at you. Take these guys down first. Oh shit. Melee weapon? You guys never use your melee weapon. Oh, I just healed. <laughs> okay, you're gonna pay for that one. Yeah, watch out for these jars, okay? I, I freaking broke one, but... Do watch out for these jars, because if someone shoots you, and they miss, and then they hit this jar, and you're next to it, this shit explodes. So be really careful about that. And I don't think I'll one-shot you, but it's gonna pack one hell of a punch, so... Yeah, be careful about standing near like jars and stuff like that. Basically, if there's a hunter, uh, if there's like a um, sniper hunter nearby, watch out for jars because most of the time there are going to be jars. I thought this dog was alive. 
And holy shit. Lots of them. Let's go kick their ass. Oh. Was that like a headshot or something? That thing. That thing hit super hard. I think he got me in the head with that one. Lots of silver bullets. Oh my god. Bow marrow ash. Uh, bow marrow ash is actually pretty useful, okay? Let's check that out right now. Bow marrow ash. This is gonna be really useful with um, firearms. You can actually use those to cheese bosses too. Um, what those does is it enhances your attacks, um, your attack power for your firearm uh, by a lot. I don't know how much, but it buffs um, your firearm by a lot. And um, you can use that against bosses and then you can actually even cheese bosses and defeat them like that too. Or you can cheese bosses and then, you know, get a couple of visceral attacks in. Really, really OP stuff right there. And actually, if you if you co-op, I mean, if you use um, if you play on PVP online, <laughs> there are people who just spam the crap out of that thing. It's it's pretty insane. I fought a guy who just bow mirror ash shoots, bow mirror ash shoots, and if he lands an attack, he'll switch to his melee weapon and try to kill me like that. And you know. And then, of course, I didn't want to be killed by a cheap way like that, so I'll heal, and then he'll spam that crap again until he lands a hit, and then, you know, continue with his melee attack. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Let's go ahead and head back to the Hunter stream for now. But yeah, that thing does hit pretty hard. And if you enhance that thing with, um, with the cannon that we can get later on, oh man, massive damage right there to enemies, in-game enemies, and players online. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Looks like I'm her sister or something. Hello. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you... Oh, by the way, I found this small hair ornament. What? What is this? I... What are you looking at? I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? It's called emotions. Ah. Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? It could be. Ah. That's it. Give me a hug. A tear stone. Wait, <laughs> your tears are made out of stones? Yeah, and we can actually use the tear stone. And it becomes um, a gym that we can uh, use it on a weapon. Where the hell is that thing? HP continues recover. I guess it's, it could be useful in some ways. I don't know. I don't see myself using that thing. Welcome. What is it, you? And uh, let's well, level then. up a little bit here. 17. I guess that's fine. And then later on we can get this 20 and then um, try to get skill to 30. Or 25. Yeah, 25, 25. Well, actually we can leave endurance at 20 for a while. Because we're pretty good on endurance. We're not running out. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, let's go repair a weapon. We got better gems. Oh yes, we do. Wait, do we? <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay, that kind of buffed our weapon a little bit. Pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can switch some gems on this on the cane here. Yeah. That's that's okay for now, I guess. Not too bad. Let's get this um, T 
tier blood gem on the pistol, so we'll continue getting um health regen while we're like making our way to places or something like that. So I think that's pretty good now. Oh, actually, we could just use up some of um our cold blood here, and perhaps we'll get a chance to level up maybe a couple of times because it requires like six thousand to level up once. So I am kind of thinking that we might not even have enough to level up three times. Or actually, we we probably will. Let's 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 see if it doesn't go up Welcome to like seven thousand per level. Very well, let me. No, I didn't. Yeah, Wellington. Yeah, I went up to seven thousand. <laughs> God Very damn it. Well, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's just purchase. Yeah, it was a repeating pistol that the uh, one of those church guys were using. Yeah, let's um. Let's get more throwing knives. Holy shit, we can get twenty nine. Well, deal. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to have a lot of um throwing knives. And I think this is, this is good. Yeah. Oh shit! I could have um. I could have upgraded my weapon. Yeah, I could have upgraded my weapon. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I guess I missed out on that one. And is German sleeping back here. It doesn't look like he's sleeping back here, right? Yeah, he's not. All right. Okay. Let's see. Where's the bloody one? Okay. Let's try this one. I've been meaning to do this, but I always forget. Oh my god, that looks nasty. Okay, forget that one. Uh. This? Look like those church guys. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I want to use that because I had that in my. Well, actually, I still have that on my main character. I'll guess I'll just give him the urns. Yeah, why not? If you guys want to want me to equip a certain accessory to these guys, let me know. Because um, I don't know what you want to go with. I'm just going to leave it with the uh, Urn Festival for now. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this part of the walkthrough. Yeah, I think we're good here. In the next episode, we'll take on the Henwick's area. Uh, yeah, it's kind of... No, it's, um, it's not too long. It's not too short. And there's going to be a boss in the area, so... And we can also get a cool item after we defeat the boss. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> enough rambling. Yeah, thank you all for watching. And I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. Um, and if you all found all three of those qualities to be in this video, then yeah, stay tuned for the next one. And as always, thank you all for the support. And I'll see you all next time. Homes out. Yeah.